Martin Fisher is a board member with the giant supplier company ZF, and they have got an incredible development that they're showing at the EAA in Munich. Martin, take it from there. What is this electric motor? John, that's a brand new innovation right from the labs, and um, it is a magnetless motor. No so magnets in no this. No magnets in this whole thing. Now, there's asynchronous magnets or, or motors, right, that use electromagnetism to get rid of the, the magnets. But you're saying that's not what this is. No, this is a synchronous machine. And as you know, the magnet-based synchronous machines are those with the highest efficiency in the market and yet come with the disadvantage of much of magnets and rare earths to be processed into it. And that's what we wanted to get rid of. And so tell us a little bit of what's going so, on here. So How did you do it? The way that works is um, we take out the magnets from the rotors and we put in copper windings. And then we feed an electric current to them to generate the magnetic field that makes finally the motor spin. Mm -hmm. The piece of know-how really that went into it is how do you get the magnets its current? Right. Because the rotors are spinning. So I'm going to turn this so that the audience can see. Yeah, let's and, do that. Uh, so you're talking about this the centerpiece here, right? Yeah. You got to get electricity through that, but it's not connected to the motor because it's spinning it's around. It's spinning, yeah. And right. the way that's done traditionally, and you might know that from a laundry machine, you use little brushes or sliding contacts. That's the vagaries of an auto show. People just wander into the camera. Continue, Mark. So what, what we do is really um, we use an induction concept to bring the current in. So rather than in a washing machine where you use brushes or some sliding contacts, we basically have a little transformer that sits on the axle and conveys the electric power into the windings of the rotor. So with inductive charging or in, in inductive electrical transmission, there's always a little bit of inefficiency. What's the efficiency of this motor? Yeah, the efficiency, and that's really great. It's the same package size as a synchronous motor with magnets, and it has the same efficiency. And what you allude to, John, is true, right? There's a little bit of a loss in that transformer. But on the other hand, um, there's really no friction coming out of it. So if you compare that to a motor where you really feed it through brushes or through sliding rings, there, there's, losses there's with that. friction losses, and that's what we don't have. Okay. So we can compete with those. Fantastic. So is this debuting at the show? Do you have orders for this? Well, what can you tell me about it? We have it in the lab and okay. hopefully generate the orders during the show okay. and um, go from there. And you'd be ready in what, two, three years that's, if you got an order? That's a time to yeah. industrialize it. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow, very interesting. So no rare earth metals, no. no processing of them, no shipping them across the ocean. So this has got to have a much better carbon footprint. That's what it is all about. I mean, it's 50% reduction of the CO2 needed to manufacture this one and in its entirety as compared to a magnet motor. And this is a... And then also think about how independent you get, right? Geopolitically from other countries. Absolutely. All we need is copper yeah. windings. We don't need rare earth anymore. And this is a pretty good size motor, so this would be in what size vehicle? Or you can um, do different we, sizes? We start Pescar, typically, okay. yeah. but you know we are a strong player also in the commercial vehicle field. Right. And we are now checking is the same principle also applying to the big 300 kilowatt machines while we start Pescar. Fantastic. Martin, thanks so much for John, bringing you. me up to speed. Great development here. Thank you.